Morning, gang. It is 7.25 in the a.m. on a Saturday morning, and I am headed out to McDonald's to get myself a cup of coffee. I usually treat myself on the weekend. Um, otherwise, I just make coffee at home, but I decided that this would be a good opportunity to gab at you for a second and let you know that here in the Portland area, Portland to be exact, at the Oregon Convention Center on October 17th and 18th, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo is coming to town. Again, this is an annual event and it's just made up of all kinds of guests, nerdy computer uh, gaming specifically guests, um, tables and tables and tables of all kinds of computer or gaming related stuff you can buy and um, a huge arcade, retro arcade that you can just play video games and, and uh, pinball machines and all kinds of stuff like that from back in the day. And it lasts two days and uh, it's all day events and it's a lot of fun. And I've been there a couple times now. But I want to invite you. I am uh, going, I, I've got uh, two VIP press passes. And uh, the friend of mine, Bryce L. Tomlinson, who I usually invite to come along, he is um, already going to be there. He's going to have a table set up, a uh, Commodore 64 type table set up there. So he's already in. So I've got an extra VIP pass, and I would like to invite one of you. So I'm going to have a contest. And. Um, I will put it up on, I'm planning on putting it up on Monday, getting it ready and putting it up on Monday. So look for it and I'll let you know for sure. But this is kind of like the let you know for sure right now. So if you live in or around the Portland area and you're interested in coming with me uh, Saturday and Sunday or just Saturday, you know, if you can't make both, or just Sunday if you can't make both, um, and uh, you'd like to have a lot of fun, and you're a retro gamer, um, you are invited. So take advantage of that, and I'll have more information pretty soon. Okay, pull it into McDonald's. I had the uh, double combo that consists of, uh, of a uh, double cheeseburger and a small fry for $2.50 um, yesterday, and it was pretty good. Ooh, bright sun. It's gonna be another bright one today, another warm one today. We had like, what, like two days of rain, and then it was back to hot temperature and stuff. Oof, glad I brought my wallet. I, I'm going, did I bring my wallet? Oh no. Here we go, drive through. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. My name is Kathy. Take your order whenever you're ready. Hi, Kathy. Can I go ahead and grab a large coffee, four sugars, two creams? Okay. And that'll do it. All right, so I have a large coffee, four sugar, two cream. Is that correct? Yep. All right, that's going to be one of we eat first one. This leaves. I Thank you. Thanks. Here we go. Kathy's a regular here. She's She seems to be always working. Always working. So what do you guys got planned for the weekend? Are you going to go out and do something or are you going to be like me and hang around home and make videos? <laughs> you know, not a lot of people hang around home and make videos, but they do hang around home. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're watching football this weekend. I hear that that starts. I'm not a sports fan. I'm a geek. And, you know, the, the only kind of sports I like, I love rodeo. Um, I love monster truck races. Uh, I love demolition derbies. And for sports slash entertainment, I love professional wrestling, but you already knew that. Uh, so, yeah, woke up at 6.30 today. I usually don't wake up that early on the weekends, but I don't know. 
just did today. I, I, I took a pretty good nap yesterday, so maybe I just got enough sleep that um, I didn't need to, to sleep in today. Yes, ma'am. How are you today? Good, you? Not too bad. Sweet. All right, thank you. Have a good one. I love my large coffee for only a dollar, dollar eight up here, with including the tax. Morning. Coffee. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. There we go. Nice large coffee. And it is definitely freshly brewed because it's very hot. And you can smell it. And it smells really nice. So that's the way I like it. When you get there in the early mornings, you get some fresh brewed stuff instead of leftover stuff in the afternoon. Get the bottom of the carafe that has gunk in it. Actually, it's never had gunk in it, but you know, occasionally if you get out uh, later in the day, you'll get coffee that has, you know, it, it maybe is not as hot or not as fresh as you'd like it to be, as it should be, as it should be. You are the consumer. We are the consumers. And should be getting what we pay for. Always remember that. Okay, so I'm headed back home and um, you guys have a freaking awesome weekend. I will see you Monday with a brand new review and I'm thinking it's going to be a eating the dollar store review. How would you like that? I know many of you would. So anyway, I will talk to you then. Bye now.